Um, Major Sherwin, S-H-E-R-W-I-N, Youth Service Section, um, sitting in for uh, Jeff Cotner. I've got two cases, actually three cases we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the first one, the nine-year-old who was shot yesterday, and then the two murders this morning. Okay, and then we'll, I'll do basically the statement, and then we'll talk. We'll take questions on them after I'm done. Okay? Rob, Rob. Thank you, R-O-B. Thank you, sir. All right. On Sunday, August 17th at about 6.15, um, our complaint, the nine-year-old black male, along with his 10-year-old friend, were taking out the trash at the Regal Crossing Apartments at 7575 Chaucer Place. Uh, witnesses report that uh, Lajardin Miller, and that's L-A, J-A-R-D-I-N, Miller, M-I-L-L-E-R, a black male, 27, fired a handgun at two other males in the parking lot and struck the nine-year-old in the right arm. Detectives and officers were advised by these witnesses that the shooting occurred as a result of a disturbance that had occurred on Saturday evening between Mr. Miller's girlfriend and one of the men who we believe Mr. Miller was firing at. The disturbance from Saturday is still being investigated. The complainant our nine-year-old, appears to have been an innocent bystander and was not involved in the previous incident at all. The complaint was transported to Children's Hospital by Dow Fire Rescue in serious condition, but he has just been released, and I'm happy to say that he's in pretty good condition except for the, uh, the injuries that he sustained. Um, we are right now getting a judge to sign a warrant for injury to a child, a felony of the first degree for Mr. Miller, and we'll be putting out his photograph shortly as soon as this press conference is over. We've still got a few witnesses to talk to, but that case should be uh, ready to do once we get Mr. Miller. Now I'm going to talk about this morning's uh, two murders. This morning at 4.20 a.m., officers responded to a shooting call at the 2900 block of Prince Hall and found Mr. Billy Baker, black male 49, shot inside an apartment. Um, he was transported to Baylor Hospital where he was pronounced deceased. About an hour and a half later, at 6.06 a.m., Officers responded to a second call at a convenience store at 2911 East Ledbetter Drive regarding a person who was shot at another location. They found a juvenile shot in the leg or ankle um, area. That juvenile was transported and treated at Baylor Hospital. He was interviewed by homicide detectives. Officers were then directed by a separate witness to the Rosemont Apartments at Oak Hollow at 3015 East Ledbetter Drive where they found Mr. Kenneth Lovely, L-O-V-E-L-Y, a black male 16, deceased in the breezeway of the apartments. Detectives that be believe that Mr. Lovely and the injured juvenile were involved in the same incident at the Rosemont Apartments. The two apartment complexes are, and the convenience store are all within the same area. Detectives believe that the two murders are, may be related. We are continuing to interview several witnesses, and we believe that multiple suspects are involved. I'll take some questions. Rob, well, is it a, is my understanding that they may have they may have been a robbery, like the two of homicides? It appears to be a robbery on the Prince Hall location. We don't know what the second deal is yet at Rosemont. So somebody broke into his apartment, robbed him, and killed him? It may be a drug house location, but we're still trying to confirm that. And then these others would be related to that in some fashion? Yeah, that's, it, so? it, it could be that there was a robbery, possibly and then someone went over to another location to probably reacquire their property. Any other questions? Yeah, on the, uh, the, the nine-year-old incident, sure. is, is there a reason that, uh, what are the whereabouts of Mr. Miller that you know? Is it just that you don't have the arrest warrant yet? We're just getting that signed right now. Okay. Um, we don't think we're going to have any issue with that. Obviously, we want to pick up Mr. Miller as quickly as we can. Do you know where he is? No, we do not, but we believe people do know where he is. Okay. So we'd like to, the public's help if they can tell us where he is or ask him to turn himself in, that'd be helpful. Witnesses at the scene were saying that um, the 16-year-old, uh, Mr. Leslie, Leslie, is that what you call his name, Kenneth Leslie, was a football player for Roosevelt High School. Were you able to confirm anything? Not confirmed anything about the 16-year-old who's deceased. I'm not even, just his name, that's it. And you were saying that you thought it'd be, or there's a possibility that Kenneth Lovely and the, there was a juvenile at, at the convenience store? At the convenience store who was shot in the leg. Shot in it appears that they were together, yes. When they were shot. Yes. But we're still trying to find out the connection between them and Prince Hall, the, the first location. Okay, so we don't know if they were connected maybe to the suspect or the victim. Right, we don't know that yet. Can you 
clarify. Year old was at the Seven Eleven. It was a fifteen year old. Is that what you said? It's a sixteen year old at the at the convenience store. At the convenience store. And the sixteen year old deceased at Rosemont. They're both sixteen. Yes. Let me take your. Can you clarify the ages of the two deceased individuals? Okay. The both. first, the, the first deceased, Mr. Billy Baker, and we released his name. Is he's a black male, forty nine years old, and he was in the apartment at twenty nine hundred block of Prince Hall. Okay. The second person found deceased is Mr. Kenneth Lovely. He's a 16-year-old, and he was found in the breezeway of the Rosemont Apartments at Oak Hollow at 3015 East Ledbetter Drive. And those locations apart, are, they're very, very close. Okay. Any other questions? One more. Any weapon recovery? Nothing right now. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks, guys.